All right, good morning. Today, let's talk a bit about tissue cultured dragon fruit. Now, this variety of American beauty has been tissue cultured. You can see the common characteristics. It will shoot more mature branches almost from the ground or from its roots. And the older, smaller growth is more like a seedling. So it's pretty unique. And I'm excited to have American Beauty as a tissue cultured variety because hopefully they're gonna breed out some of that rot. Now, uh, that's one of the reasons why they tissue culture is, well, several reasons we'll discuss, but it can increase uh, positive characteristics or traits in plants. Now, here is my Edgar's baby. And this is tissue cultured as well. That's why you can find it everywhere, at Walmart and stuff. And you can see that the older plant was kind of like a seedling and didn't do so well. However, it keeps shooting out really new growth from below that is large and healthy, as you can see there. Now, I did take a cutting last year, and now you can see it's been one year and it's topping the trellis. So I would say tissue culture dragon fruit grows slower and it's almost sort of like a graft in my experience. But this Edgar's baby is doing great. And it's one of the first dragon fruit videos we did. We'll put a link below. But that was when I was more of a dragon fruit rookie. So anyways, let's go to the computer and learn more about tissue culture dragon fruit. But give it time and it will look awesome like this Edgar's baby. Okay, so I'll provide the link where I found this online, and it's from the University of California Department of uh, Natural Agriculture and Natural Resources. So anyways, dragon fruit tissue culture is done in a lab like this picture here, and it's called mi micropropagation. They could do it from a single cell, a stem, a seed, any part of the plant basically. And they do need a specialized growing area, and specialized conditions. So I'm not gonna go into the specifics uh, of uh, how to create the macro micronutrients and the gels and all that, but I just wanted to give you an overview and have you understand that they do this in a lab on a massive, massive scale. So the benefits are having a sterile condition and you could produce a large quantities quickly of the plant and it's not as hard as it looks. You don't have to deal with the weather or the seasonal impacts, and you can do this usually in a short amount of time. Now, often the scientists will be able to uh, enhance stress or pest resistance when they create a tissue culture dragon fruit, or they may do it just to make money, and it has to be done in four stages, and you can do it with basic scientific tools. Now, there are groups online that do this from home. So I am interested in trying to create my own tissue culture dragon fruit just to see if it's possible to do it from home. I find it extremely interesting, as you can see in the pictures. So if you have Edgar's baby, it's a very good chance that that variety of dragon fruit that you have is tissue cultured. So it's more common than we think. So I'm going to learn more about it, and I hope you learn something about it as well. So give us a like and a subscribe, and have yourself a wonderful day.